بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين ولعنة الله على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى أبد الآبدين One of the characteristics which is desired by all human beings all intellectuals all sane human beings is to be trustworthy and one of the things that employees look for employers when they want to employ them is that is he or she a trustworthy individual can we trust them can we trust them in their daily lives can we trust them at work can we trust them with our information can we trust them with our belongings one of the things that Islam and the Holy Prophet of Islam peace be upon him and his holy progeny call all its followers to is the first thing they need to be trustworthy because one of the attributes of the Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is that he was titled by the Arabians and by Quraysh in Mecca before the launch of Islam he was titled as Sadiq al-Ameen he was titled the trustworthy one the honest one the one that was truthful at all times why because Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam did not look at the person trying to leave this amana anything that they wanted the Arabians would have hidden or given to the Holy Prophet of Islam to look after so Rasulullah did not see that this person is a non-believer or this person does not believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or this person does not follow me as long as he is a human being and he's asking you for a favor he's asking you to look after something for them you should take it and they should believe in you that you can look after it as-sadiq al-ameen i will narrate you one story one of the companions came to imam as-sadiq alayhi salam and asked him ya ibn rasulillah what is the extent of trustworthiness imam as-sadiq gave him a broad line and he said if abdul rahman ibn muljim the one that killed my grandfather ali ibn abi talib came and entrusted me with an object or with an item i would have taken it looked after it and given it back to him even if you think that this person is your enemy or carries hatred or grudge against you but with that characteristic with that attitude you will be able to gain their trust and once they gain your trust they will be able to draw into being closer friends of yours this is what ahlul bayt this is what the holy prophet of islam and this is what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked us to be be truthful and have trustworthiness as a characteristic wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh